Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to your first science class conducted by SLS Montessori and High School and I am your science teacher Amon. Today we are going to start chapter number 6 Air and the Atmosphere and the topics we are going to discuss are the atmosphere, second is the composition of air and last is air is soluble in water. At the end of the lecture, you'll be able to understand the difference between air and the atmosphere. You'll be able to know about the functions or purposes of atmosphere. You'll also be able to know about the composition of air. Can you answer a very easy question? What do you think is a special substance that floats around on earth? It can't be seen, but can be felt. We can swish our hand through it. It allows all of us on earth to breathe. Yes, it's air. Air is a mixture of gases with which living things live and breathe. If this is air, then what is atmosphere? Atmosphere is a blanket of air or a thick layer of air that surrounds the earth. As we can see in the picture. Surrounds mean to be everywhere around something. Everything has a specific purpose. Nothing is useless. Atmosphere performs many important functions. Let's have a look. Atmosphere acts as a filter. If it is so, then why? First of all, let me tell you what is a filter. A filter is a device for removing impurities or any unwanted material. Here we can see a sieve or a filter. The most common example is while preparing tea, a filter or sieve is used to separate tea leaves from the liquid. Through the sieve, only liquid passes out. The same way, Earth's atmosphere acts as a filter and filters the harmful rays of the sun. Otherwise, the ultraviolet rays of the sun would destroy life on Earth. Meteorites burn up by friction. Do you know what are meteorites and why they burn up? Meteorites are large irregular shaped heavenly bodies that orbit in space. When they come out of their orbit, they face the friction of atmosphere before reaching the Earth. Now, you must be thinking, what is friction? Friction is a force that slows down or stops the movement between two surfaces that are touching and produce heat. For example, when we rub hands, friction is produced. Produced the same way. They burn up and break into pieces. As a result, cause less destruction or damage to the earth. Atmosphere acts as a sunshade. Sunshade is something used as a protection from the rays of the sun. For example, umbrella and canopies are used as a sunshade. The same way, atmosphere prevents the earth from becoming too hot during the daytime. It also acts as a blanket. As blanket provides us warmth, Atmosphere stops the earth from getting too cold at night because there is no sunlight at night time. Now look at this picture. Here we can see the five layers of atmosphere. Troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and last is exosphere. 15 kilometers above the ground level, the atmosphere is dense or thick. It means in the first layer, that is troposphere. As it extends upwards or we move away from the ground level, this thins out as we can see in the exosphere. The next topic is the composition of air. Composition means the components or ingredients which make it up. Now look at the pie chart. On the screen showing the composition of air. As air is a mixture of gases, all of them have different percentage by volume. Volume is the amount of space that a substance or object occupies. 
In the pie chart, we can see that nitrogen forms the largest part. Nitrogen is 78% by volume, oxygen is 21%, argon is 0.9%, carbon dioxide is 0.03%, inert or noble gases are 0.003%, inert means chemically inactive, so inert gases are those gases which have no ability to react. And water vapor are in variable amounts means the amount of water vapor keep on changing. Like the air near seashore will have more amount of water vapor because more water vapor evaporates from sea and make the air moist or humid. Now what is this term humidity? The amount of water vapor in the air is called humidity. Here we can see that something is burning and filling the air with smoke. Thus increasing the percentage of carbon dioxide in the air. So we can say that composition of air can be different from place to place. One of the properties of air is when gases of air are mixed together they don't react chemically nor they form any new gas. The next topic is air is soluble in water. Soluble means which dissolves easily. It means air dissolves easily in water. Can we check it out? Yes, we can check it out through an experiment. If we boil water in a glass beaker or in a saucepan, the air tries to escape from water and form bubbles. This indicate the presence of air. Now come to the book pages, page number 57. The topic is the atmosphere. Now start highlighting the lines starting from second line till the fourth line under the heading the atmosphere. Now highlight the seventh line and ending till tenth line. Now come to the basic facts on page 57 and hold your pencils in your hand to write down the question. Question number one is what is atmosphere? And the answer is the first basic fact. Question number two is what are the purposes or functions of atmosphere? And the answer is the second basic fact. Question number three, what is the composition of clean air? And the answer is the third basic fact. Question number four, what are the properties of air? And the answer is in the fourth basic fact. Now come to page number 58 and write down question define humidity. Here you can see the answer highlighted here. Now mark this chart as important in which percentage of gases by volume is shown, percentage by volume, highlight it and mark it as important. That's all for today. Now I would like to say stay home, stay safe and keep learning. Allah Hafiz.